Greetings, everybody! T. Prower once again. I had already planned to watch each part on separate days, but I never appreciate how much I need after watching part one. My throat, mind, and emotions just couldn't take any more after that. When we last left off, magic was being drained from all across Equestria, and according to Star Scroll the Bearded, it will be completely gone in three days. The most likely suspect, given his track record, was Tyrek. So the main seven go to Tartarus to interrogate him, only to find that he's not the one behind it. Well, not directly, as he has been in correspondence with an accomplice who is acting upon his advice. Meanwhile, Cozy Glow assumes leadership of the school in Twilight's absence, after Starlight mysteriously disappears. In the midst of this, Chancellor Naysay arrives, taking advantage of Twilight being gone to assume control himself, with the intent of getting rid of the non-pony students. In a clever move, Sandbar pretends to side with him so he can go free, and he recruits the help of the Cutie Mark Crusaders to uncover the truth. And what they found wasn't pretty. Cozy Glow is T-Rex protege and the one draining Equestria's magic, while also having Starlight sealed in a magic bubble in the catacombs under the school, generated by the six magic artifacts of Equestria and its allies. She's come to believe that friendship is power rather than magic, and intends to rule as Empress of Friendship. I really thought Cozy deserved the benefit of the doubt. I didn't want to believe that she could be evil. But I guess I was wrong. All I can hope now is that she comes to her senses by the end, unless she decides to pull a chrysalis and just runs away. So, that's where we stand. Cozy Glow is draining the magic from Equestria, Chancellor Naysay is in command of the school, and the main seven are trapped in Tartarus with a gloating T-Rex. Never before has the fate of Equestria hung so precariously in the balance. Well, without further ado, let's jump right into the second part of the Season 8 finale, School Rays. Let's get to it! And in cahoots with Tyrek on top of that. Ponies, but draining your precious world of magic so she could trap the six of you was inspiring. <laughs> Laugh it up, you bastard. You'll get what's coming to you. Seven of us? I knew we shouldn't have left. But Starlight's in charge at the school. If any pony can stop Cozy Glow, it's her. Cozy About that, AJ. Six of you. I doubt this Starlight stands a chance. <laughs> Screw you, T-Rex. Her students can't handle Cozy on their own. Then I guess we'll just have to bust our way out. That's the spirit. Ow. Oh, that didn't work. Can't fault you for trying. Not everything can be solved with brute force. We need magic to escape. But we don't have any. Maybe there's a way to get out without magic. Like a secret lever, or a secret button, or a secret admirer who knows a secret about you, but it's all, your secret's safe with me because I put it in Tartarus and I have a key. Pinky. The most powerful villains and monsters of all time are trapped here. And without our magic, so are we. What do we do? Unless... Creatures might be losing their magical powers, but there's still a magic that makes up what they are. Maybe we can borrow some of that. How do we do that? Uh, excuse me? Um, Hello, Chancellor Cozy. Might as well Hello, Chancellor. Stallion, they say. I plan to be here for quite some time. Gee, That's what you sure think. It's a relief to have some pony in charge. What with the magical crisis going on? And we're all so grateful to you for taking care of those non-ponies. But doesn't the EEA need you? That's a what good the point. What the EEA needs is some pony to protect this school from the threats at Equestria's borders, instead of gallivanting off on adventures beyond them. 
You clearly don't know what good these adventures they gallivant off to do, if you keep trivializing them like that. Twilight didn't just run off willy-nilly. She left me in charge. I'm her right hoof mayor. That was Another a big mistake, a turns out. Mistakes the princess of friendship has made. Rest assured, from now on, this school shall be run according to strict EEA guidelines. Oh no, it won't. It always should have been. Well, that sounds just peachy. Head stallion, they say. Well, I hate to admit it, but Cozy and I are in agreement on one thing. Naysay has got to go. Cozy glows it all oh, up. Starlight. Why? I don't know. But come on, y'all. We gotta get Starlight out of there before she comes back. That's my girls. What the? Sweetie Bell! But if that's true, then Twilight and the others went to Tartarus for nothing. And if all of Equestria's magic's getting sucked up in there, there's no way for them to get back. This is really yeah, bad. But Starlight's trapped here, and there's no way to get word to Celestia or anybody else. I guess we're on our own. How are we gonna fix this? <laughs> of course! The young six! Still locked, huh? As if Naysay would make it easy. Hi. If Sambar's turned his back on us, every other pony probably has too. Sambar not, not true, Cinnamon Bug. Sambar is our friend. Uh, did you miss the part where he said he didn't want anything to do with us? He had to, Smolder. He said that so one of us could be free to snoop around and figure out what's going on. Silverstream's got it. That sounds too clever for a pony to come up with. He'd never forsake his friends. What I tell ya? Except for Cozy Glow, that pony is not who we thought she was. She's the one draining magic out of Equestria. What? Oh, little two-faced we'll backstabber. Right now, we gotta get the Chancellor Naysay. Huh? I know he doesn't like non-ponies, but if we tell him what's going on, he'll help. We're making Naysay an ally? I'm sure you are all concerned about the magic situation, but I want to assure you that this institution is safe. Despite the absence of your head mayor, as your new head stallion, let me be the first to say that the reign of Princess Twilight is over. From now on, this school will adhere to EEA doctrine as it should have from the start. Are we even going to be able to get through to him? Thank you, Chancellor Naysay, for that rousing speech. I know you're a stallion who truly believes what you say. And when you say the school will be run according to EEA doctrine, I know you mean it. What are you up and to now? When you say there won't be any more lessons from the Princess of Friendship at the School of Friendship, I guess you mean that too. She's That's not exactly. wrong. But Twilight decided to run her school outside of the EEA guidelines. And even though you tried to stop her, Princesses Celestia and Luna trusted her enough to support her. Oh, she's using loopholes on him. I know you mean what you say. My question is really for the students. Are we going to give the pony who already tried to wreck Twilight School once another chance to do it? Well, no. Why should they? I guess things will have to stay the way Twilight wants them, which includes leaving me in charge. Yeah! Holy crap, Cozy! You devious little monster! Okay, so maybe we need a new plan. Maybe Naysay will be more willing to help now, after what just happened. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? We don't want to hurt the Chancellor. I'm sure Twilight will know what to do with him when she gets back. I can't believe now, this. Everyone. We let the EEA disrupt our friendship studies long enough. Damn you, Cozy Glow. Why are you doing this? I thought you wanted to have some pony in charge of the school. She oh, meant herself. I mean, you just aren't the pony I had in mind. I can't very well have the EEA running the school if I want to run it myself. Of 
course, that's just the beginning. You see, if there's one thing I've learned here, it's that friendship is the most powerful thing there is. And as head mayor of the School of Friendship, no pony will have more friends than me! Making me the most powerful pony in Equestria! <laughs> what happened to make you so evil? Oh, look! It's your friends! Oh, I'm just keeping Twilight's seat warm. With Naysay's immobilized body. Is there anything we can do to help? We can hang out with you all day if you want. Good idea. Keep tabs on her. Now for the young six. Help has arrived, Chancellor. Oh, wonderful. I suppose you've all come to gloat? Actually, no. Come to undo all these chains and free you! But, but why? Now that Nasty Pony met even nastier Pony, maybe Nasty Pony not be so nasty. Well said, Yona. Good job! Also, we kind of like to stop Cozy before she drains all the magic from Equestria. That's right. She's behind that as well. I must get word to Celestia and Luna. And fast. How? Without magic, it'll take forever to get to them. Well, it's true that unicorns have lost their ability to cast spells. The most potent magic in Equestria is housed in our artifacts. Your portal spell! The EEA medallion allows me to travel throughout Equestria. Its magic worked when I chained you up. Perhaps it still has enough to send me to the princesses. It's worth a try. It worked! Good luck, Naysay. I hope he doesn't come back and lock us up again. If he comes back. Everything's gonna be fine. Twilight and the others are probably already on their way. Wishful thinking, Sylvie. <laughs> Aw, they're playing with Cerberus. Cerberus? Clarissa the pig has two tails, and while her singing voice is lovely, I don't think it's magical. We need to try everything if we want to get out of here. Our know. options are pretty limited. So bad? I can hang out here for a while. Always looking for the bright side, Pinks. That's what I admire about you. But that is just what it will be. If my protege has followed my instructions, by sunset tonight, every last vestige of equestrian magic will disappear into the ether forever! Oh, Have shut you up! About what losing magic would mean? It means the six of you will be trapped here, like me! Seven! Thank yeah. you, Spike. It means you're trapped here, forever, with us. Oh! I hadn't thought of it like that. You done goofed, t Tirek. What do we do, Twilight? Dash and Applejack nearly have Cerberus tired out. If Rarity pitches in, I think they can get him to sit still long enough to try what I have in mind. I'm sure I can get the other monsters to help. Besides, I would never call them monsters. Of course but not, Tirek, Flutters. He's probably got some magic too, right? Leave him to me! Wait, we're gonna have Tirek help us too? Now that, I didn't see coming. Down. Now that's a big bone. Okay, everyone. Time to show Equestria that you aren't monsters. You're wonderful, mystical creatures. You tell them, Pumpkin. Uh, you your birthday, so you get a party. Even though we'll sing and dance from one to ten, and then we'll do it all again. <laughs> what are you trying to do, piss him off? She's making a mockery of him. Fine. I help you leave. Just please stop. Nice work, Pinks. We should have an ice cream social every day. Hey, I like ice cream. But to tell you the truth, the thing I need help with most is cleaning. Cleaning? Just take us around the school and show us everything you want cleaned. Well, actually, you could start right in here. Oh no! Don't Let's tell me. Do you? I knew it. Fool me! I know a diversion when I see it. 
She was on to them the whole time. Um, why Pony lead us back down here? We obviously can't handle Cozy on her own. But we can't just sit around and wait for help, so... They're gonna free Starlight! Ooh, I guess Starlight isn't Starlight! Yona? Counselor Pony, come out! We need help with Nasty Pony! Wait! Don't cross the circle! She can't talk to us from in there. We'll have to figure a way to get her out. It has to do with the artifacts. Hey! This is just like Chapter 12 in Kent Thacker's Facts and Artifacts from Twilight's class. You paid attention, Gallus? I've been studying. Finals are coming up, you know? Actually, Had a boy! I too. Cody must have linked these artifacts to act like a mystical magnet, attracting all the magic in Equestria into that orb. So let's remove them! By yanking one of these things out, right? Sure. Though that would probably cause a magical feedback loop and destroy the whole school. Destroy the school of friendship? Oh, dear. Chances oh no. About a lot of things, but I guess he was right about all of you. We played right into her hooves. All right, is every pony ready? Let's do it and quick. Sit. Oh, God. I can't see for how much longer. <laughs> oh jeez. Yes, by all means, please just get on with it. Everything's in place. There's your Whoa! Holy crap! What the? That's it. I think it's working. This is incredible. Come on. I don't know how long I can hold it. Better hurry. Don't dawdle, Flutters. Thanks, T-Rex. I guess. Phew! Hey, That's my girl. All your help. I'm not sure we did. Sunset. T-Rex said all of Equestria's magic would be gone at sunset. Without magic, there's no way we'll get back to the school in time. Oh no. It means we failed. It's not over yet. There's still the young six, and Nay say we still have a chance. After everything Twilight's done for you, why would you want to destroy her school? Don't Please. listen to her, ponies! You're the one using these artifacts to drain magic from Equestria. You tell her, Gallus! Yeah, trying to free their guidance counselor. These creatures want magic gone from Equestria because it's the only thing ponies have that they don't. Oh, don't you dare! Silverstream and I transformed. And Yona's friend's friendship is magic. Twilight said. You tell her, Yona. Some sense! The harmony are very important. They're just not applicable in every circumstance. And with magic gone from Equestria, I'm not even sure the tree of harmony will be as helpful as it once was. You sure about that? What's happening? This, Cozy, is the magic of friendship. They are the next generation! Hurry, grab the artifacts! Let's undo all this! Um, didn't you say that could destroy the school? But if we don't try, we could lose magic forever. 
What other choice do we have? You all better get clear. Get out of here, ponies! Where are you going? Ah! It's over, Cozy. Yes! The magic's restored. The creatures are back too. Equestria is safe, every pony, thanks to the young six. It's nice to see you too. I'm glad you're safe too, Starlight. And they know everything. I mean, yay! All my friends are safe. You That's not gonna that work that anymore. Glow. Your pen pal T Rick told us all about how he helped you suck up all that magic. But I still don't understand why. <sighs> why? Because friendship is power. You might be the princess of friendship, but as head mayor of this school, I can collect even more friends than you. That's not how friendship works. You're the one who doesn't get it, Cozy. Friendship is powerful, but power isn't why you make friends. I'm sorry I couldn't teach you that. Aw, well, why? You, you can't let one bad apple make you think you failed. That's we right. We could have stopped her if we hadn't learned what you taught us about friendship. Honestly, Absolutely. Loyalty, generosity, blah, blah, blah. I can make more friends without using any of them. And if I can't do it here, I'll do it somewhere else. Yeah, I don't think so. You're not going anywhere. You're finished, Cozy. <sighs> I'm glad you are back in charge of the School of Friendship, Princess. Thanks, Naysay. It's clear to me now that there is no pony better suited for the job. That's really nice of you to say. <gasps> Graduation? Hi, Headmare Twilight. We're just practicing for graduation. Well, you did prove yourselves. Graduation? Now that we've saved Equestria, we figure we're done with school. But are you really? <laughs> Saving Equestria is nice, but I'm afraid it'll take more than one semester to learn all there is to know about friendship. <laughs> She's got a point. Your head mayor is right. I thought friendship was something that only ponies should share with each other. But you all taught me how wrong I was. I suppose true friendship can take a lifetime to understand. If At least you understand now, Naysay. Need a school. Oh, we held her off as long as oh right! The Crusaders! What happened? Is everything alright? Where's Cozy Glow? Everything's fine, girls. Everything worked out just fine. As for Cozy Glow, I can assure you, where she's going, she won't be causing any more trouble. Where? Tartarus? Well, serves her right. But at least you're not in a cage. Hello, Luna. Hey, neighbor. Wanna be friends? Something tells me we haven't seen the last of you. Holy crap! I should really stop asking how they planned to the top what they did before, because they just keep finding a way. This was a phenomenal close to this season. Major kudos to Nicole Dubuck and Josh Haber for their writing as well as to all the cast members, including Sonny Westbrook as Cozy Glow, Maurice LaMarche as Chancellor Naysay, and the return of Mark Atchison as T-Rex. This was, quite probably, the most danger Equestria has ever been in, even considering the diabolical forces that threatened it before. All magic was being drained away from all across it, systematically. First, Ponies themselves would lose their innate magical abilities, then creatures would lose their powers, and finally, magical artifacts would be useless as well. 
leaving Equestria bereft of magic forever. Tyrek may have laid the foundation for it, but the one pulling the strings was his protege, Cozy Glow. Now we finally have a concrete explanation for her chess piece cutie mark. She's a manipulative, devious, power-hungry chess master. Always one step ahead of the game, and leaving none the wiser. She put herself into a position of trust with Twilight and the others, to the point where she was the head mayor's personal assistant. Then, when things started going wrong, she led the main seven on a wild goose chase to Tartarus, where she believed they'd have no escape. She also trapped Starlight in the magic bubble absorbing all the magic to keep her out of the way, turned the school against Chancellor Nase when he tried to butt in, and disproving that they were ever in league with each other, locked up the Crusaders when they were put on her to distract her, and then turned the school against the Young Six when they tried to stop her. And why did she do all this? Because she believed that as friendship was the most powerful force in Equestria, it was a means of becoming powerful over others, and she intended to rule as the Empress of Friendship, with countless friends at her beck and call. The scary thing about all this isn't simply her methods of achieving her goal, it's the fact that she's only a child, and not even a unicorn. What the hell could have happened to warp and twist her worldview so badly at such a young age? Her being in contact with Tyrek is a red flag in and of itself. She almost succeeded too, but there were a few things she hadn't counted on. First, while the main seven were indeed trapped in Tartarus with Tyrek, Twilight was still able to come up with a plan for them to escape, by using the magic remaining within the imprisoned creatures, the magic that kept them all amalgamations of other animals. Even better, they were able to persuade Tyrek, their former enemy, to assist them, by reminding him that his protege's plan succeeding meant he would have his old enemies as permanent company. And faced with that prospect, especially with Pinky messing with him, he was more than willing to get them out of his sight. Second, her turning every pony on Chancellor Nase was a big mistake. Him being in charge of the school was bad news, but having Cozy at the helm was even worse. By incapacitating him, it showed him who the real threat was, and being rescued by the Young Six helped change his view about non-ponies using friendship. Seeing them used as a means to help rather than harm brought him to his senses, especially in light of Cozy's plan. With his teleportation medallion, he was able to rally the princesses and the royal guard, arriving in time to keep Cozy from escaping. It warms my heart to hear him honestly thank Twilight and the Young Six for opening his eyes. He realizes that friendship can take a lifetime to learn, and if it were that easy, the school of friendship wouldn't even exist. From becoming one of my most hated characters, I now have a newfound respect for him. Last, and certainly not least, Cozy underestimated the friendship of the Young Six, and the true power of the elements as well. When they became trapped in the magic bubble trying to save each other, it displayed true loyalty, enough to make the Pony students see past Cozy's deception. And then, Harmony herself arrived to save them, freeing them, and granting them her power, displaying what I've been hoping and believing all along. They are the next generation of the Elements of Harmony. Even at the risk of blowing up the school, they remove the artifacts powering the magical magnet, restoring magic all across Equestria. Ever since I'd first met them, I had a really good feeling about Sandbar, Gallus, Yona, Smolder, Ocellus, and Silverstream, that they'd be the next main six, and they more than proved that by saving everyone. They are the product of Twilight's teachings, proving that having one student who goes wrong doesn't make her a failure as a teacher. I mean, just look at them! Against all odds, they saved Equestria, thanks to what they were taught. Though, to be fair, it doesn't mean they've graduated school yet, which means, on the plus side, that the school's still going to be around. As for Cozy, 
She's learned nothing, and has been sent to Tartarus for her crimes, in a cage right next to her old pen pal, Tyrek. I said it before, and I'll say it now. I don't think we've seen the last of her, but I hope it won't be for a while. A wild, suspenseful, amazing finale, all in all! And so, my friends, another season of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, comes to an end. I hope you had as much fun on this journey as I did, and I want to thank all of you, as always, for your support and feedback throughout. It really means a lot. As for what I'll do during the hiatus, I can't make any promises, but I really think I will commentate on the holiday special, even if I've already seen the trailer. We've had holiday specials airing way ahead of Christmas before, so who cares about the timing, right? Stay awesome, everybody, and until next time, this has been T. Prower. See ya!